And uh, to that end, we've received uh, two major groups of documents this week uh, or within the last few weeks. Uh, the first group is from the State Department. And the State Department uh, headline, I'll give you the headline from our release. Judicial Watch, new State Department documents reveal last minute efforts by Obama State Department to undermine President Trump. So the documents show that the State Department, and we have other documents showing this activity had been taking place, but the detail here is extraordinary. That the State Department under Barack Obama and John Kerry, so after President Trump was elected and before he was inaugurated, was desperate to get information out to its friendly allies in the Senate, some of one of whom was a Republican, I think he's a former senator now, Bob Corker, Corker, uh, but you know, no, no fan of Donald Trump. Uh, but uh, Senator Warner, the Democrat from Virginia, who is was the incoming chair of the Intelligence Committee, and they were shoveling this information out in a desperate way before the inauguration, including classified information. Many of those who were pushing this information out were. Surprise, surprise, Clinton donors. A uh, January 2017 email, January 13th, remember the inauguration I think was on January 20th, suggests that the intelligence community was providing raw intel to Senator Warner. And of course such an exchange would have been almost, would have had to have been approved uh, by the Office of Director of National Intelligence who was run by the unethical James Clapper. And certainly enough, uh, the documents say, yes, that is correct. Warner, raw, raw intel stuff is going through IC channels. So they were pushing it out through the Office of Director of National Intelligence to uh, Senator Warner just a few days before the inauguration. The documents show early in the process of gathering and clearing classified information uh, that uh, they bring uh, this. Uh, they bring um, a senior advisor and investigations counsel into the loop on January fifth, two thousand seventeen, in which he says Schramm would help quote figure out the best way to get these to the Hill. The woman who brought this person in was a donor to Clinton, gave twenty seven hundred dollars to the campaign. So she's managing this process in early January to get this dirt, and it really wasn't dirt because there was nothing tying Cl Trump to Russia. Uh, to um, uh, the uh, Senator Warner and his colleagues in the Senate who were hostile to President Trump. The, uh, if we're not going through our standard CDP, collection due process process, others in H need to weigh in on how to move these to the Hill. That was sent on January 11, 2017. They're not going through their standard process. So they were bypassing and trying to short circuit the rules governing the handling of classified information. They just can't share classified information willy-nilly with the Senate. In fact, the fact that information is classified is often a reason to either not share it or delay the sharing of classified information with the legislative branch. In emails written on January 10th and 11th, 2017, uh, one of the officials recommends that, uh, expresses the need to get the documents cleared, quote, as soon as possible, ASAP, January 17th, three days before Trump's inauguration. Kavalak, who has been involved in, uh, uh, is up to her neck in uh, pushing out this anti-Trump dossier information, despite knowing that Steele was no good, emails her colleagues emphasizing that getting the documents to Cardin and Warner, Ben Cardin, also a senator, is a priority and urges the process to be sped up. Agree this is a priority. I don't see why lengthy reviews are required. I would suggest we send up the things in, that can go immediately and if there's any concern about specific internal information documents, those can be adjudicated separately and sent up as a follow-on. So they were just trying to get anything they could out the door. This is three days before the inauguration. Another email, there's a time sensitivity to these documents, two days before the inauguration. ODNI is, quote, fine with the State Department sharing cables with the Hill, three days before the inauguration. Is there anything we can do to faci better facilitate this process? The clock is ticking. 
They talk about getting a package out the door by January 19th, the day before the inauguration. These documents show the Obama State Department staffed by Clinton donors improperly and perhaps illegally shoveled classified information to their allies in the Senate at the hopes of undermining Donald Trump. This information is coming out thanks to Judicial Watch suing because we couldn't get the records. And we began asking for these records in February 2018 and we're now only getting them. Look, if the classified information had a need to go up to the Hill, there was no need to bypass the rules, short circuit the process, and accelerate it. And the inauguration of President Trump wouldn't matter. But they wanted to make uh, President Trump's life miserable, as I said, a criminal, seditious conspiracy. So they were sending this information out with the hopes, it's clear, that their friendly partisans on the Hill would use it against him. So when I talk about FISA-gate being only one element of the criminal conspiracy, this is the other element, which is the abuse of authorities in the various agencies to, uh, well, improperly leak classified information, that's a whole other category, but share it improperly with others. That's not legal either. And Judicial Watch has strong evidence that it happened. You know, we had uh, do documents showing this was going on previously released to us. And this is, the, this is the worst quote, my favorite quote. I don't mean favorite in a good way. Uh, January 19th email sums it up. We made the deadline. Thank you, for, thank you everyone for what was truly a department-wide effort. What was the deadline? President Trump's inauguration. So after he was elected and up till the minute he was inaugurated, the State Department was desperately trying to send up information to uh, its allies in the Hill. Democrat mostly, to try to undermine him. Unbelievable abuses of power. And it shows you that the Justice Department and the FBI are only one aspect of the criminal, or, or only uh, uh, one of or two agencies of many agencies that need a serious investigation. Is there a state IG investigation into this? I don't think so. I don't think so.